How do, so how do we simplify these radicals? Radicals are funny looking things. So basically, when we have a radical 9, we know the answer is 3. So what happens is really a radical 9 is really 3 squared. There's an invisible 2 out there. So when you have a square here and square here, what I call it is um, it opens the house. Okay, So the 3 comes out. So what you're really looking for, you're looking for a perfect square. So let's take a look on this side. Okay, what do we have perfect square wise? Well, 72, if you see 72 as 8 times 9, that's fine. It's just slower. But if you see it's 36, uh -huh, that's a much better one because 6 squared is 32, uh, 36 and then times 2. That's my uh, 72. x squared times x, Okay, that's another squared term in there. Uh, times 8, 8 is 2 times 4. 4 is a happy number because it's a complete square. And x to the 4th is really x squared squared again. Okay, so now using the rules we had earlier, every time you have a perfect square, you can open the house. So which means this one comes out to become a 6. Okay, radical 2 has nowhere to go. It stays in there. Next term. Um, this term comes out as x. But the next one doesn't have a square term. It stays in. Okay. Next term, radical 2, it has nowhere to go. Next term gets to be a 2 because it's a perfect square. Next term here gets to be x squared because this square gets canceled out. Okay, now let's clean it up a little bit. I have 6 times 2, which is 12. I have radical 2, radical 2. Okay, so let's cancel, cross out of the term we're already taking care of. I have x and x squared, that's x to the cube. And I have a radical x here. Okay. Radical 2 times radical 2 becomes 2. 2 times 12, that's 24. x cubed, radical x. Okay, That wasn't too bad. Remember about this open house when you simplify the radicals. Have a confident day.